Welcome to this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm Denzel Johnson. And I'm Callie Rice. Well, the students are back on campus after a week-long spring break. I know I was glad to get away from school for a few days, but how did you enjoy your break, Denzel? I also enjoyed mine. It was nice to just sit around the house and really not do anything for a few days. But while the students were on academic break, the baseball team stuck around and they continued their WCC play. Our Bronco reporter Sarah Jackson sat down with Quentin Perry to talk about what the team was up to over break. Hi, I'm Sarah Jackson here with Quentin Perry from the baseball team. So Quentin, fortunately I was able to go to Mexico for spring break, but y'all had to stay back and travel. Where did you guys go and how'd those games go? Well, we actually, we got to go to San Diego throughout the week and we stayed down there and we got to actually see Jose Vizcaino's house. Um, it was beautiful as expected and then uh, we traveled to Stockton and we got our first conference series win. Oh, that's awesome. Well, congratulations on that. Also, congratulations on Portland. You guys won the series this weekend. And also, I heard that in the last game, you were able to um, have a good hit on the sixth inning and scored two runs. What were your thoughts, you know, before that and after? Well, you know, I just, I try to have the same thought every time I'm up to bat. And, you know, I, I think I just kind of got lucky on that one, which was nice. And it uh, ended up helping the team out a little bit. So. Well, that's awesome. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Um, so now that y'all are going further through the WCC play, um, have you guys been meeting your expectations? How do you guys feel about the season so far? I think it's actually it's been going really well. You know, uh, we started out with a tough series opener against uh, Pepperdine, but we've recovered nicely. And because it's the that we have a conference tournament at the end of the year, we uh, we basically just we have a goal of making it in the top four and making it to playoffs. And right now, I think we're right in the run of things. So it's yeah. kind of nice. Well, we're all proud of you and rooting for you going forward. Thanks for coming in, Q. All right. Back to you, Callie and Denzel. The team fell in both their matches against San Diego State, but they bounced back with back-to-back -back conference wins against University of Portland and Pacific. Good luck to the team as they now travel to University of Nevada and Gonzaga this week. Well, Callie, women's water polo is heating up as they swept all three of their games this weekend. Yeah, Denzel, they really are. The women had their senior day this Sunday where they beat Cal State, East Bay, and University of Pacific. The women are now 3-1 and one in conference play. I Bronco reporter Nikki Gilday stopped by earlier today to talk to senior goalkeeper June Afshar about the weekend. Hi Bronco fans, I'm Nikki Gilday here with women's water polo player June Afshar. So this past weekend you guys had a killer weekend. You went 3-1 and one in GCC play. So do you want to talk a little bit about how conference has gone for you so far? Yeah, conference has gone really well. We had two big wins against Fresno Pacific on Saturday and UOP yesterday. So, so far we're 3-1 and one, like you said. And, you know, I think we're doing well. We have um, a lot of season left and we're progressing just like we want to. So going up the hill, so we're going to plateau soon. But I'm um, really excited. So we'll see. That's awesome. So you guys are ranked 18th now, which yeah. is super exciting. Um, you want to talk a little bit about what has made your team successful this season? Um, I think we, I mean, first and foremost, we have a lot of talent on our team, and um, players have really stepped up, especially the um, underclassmen have really just stepped up and um, proven themselves. So that's been really great to see. And I just think Team 14 is just the team to win it. I don't know. <laughs> we just It's really exciting. So... I think we've worked really hard. Coaches pushed us a lot harder this year than at least my four years. So um, I think I think we'll do it. We'll see. Well, that's definitely exciting. Yeah. Um, you also had your senior day this mm -hmm. past weekend, so you know that can be emotional, positive, negative, a little bit. You want to mm -hmm. talk about for you personally how your uh, senior day went for you and your senior season so far? Yeah. Um, senior. I mean, like you said, it's you know filled with lots of emotions. Um, thankfully, we have two more home games, so it wasn't our final home game. But um, it's just been just an honor and a blessing to really play here. So um, kind of ending the season with our senior game and ending um, up 3-1 and one so far in conference has been great. And um, I'm just really excited to finish out the season with this team and see what we can do. That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming in and chat with me. Thank you. Back to you, Callie and Denzel. The women host two games this weekend against San Diego State and Sonoma State this Friday at 3 and Saturday at 1. Well, the number 67 men's tennis team fell to USD on Friday, but they were able to come back on Saturday and top BYU 6-1. Congratulations to the dynamic doubles duo, John and Ilya, as they now have a 12-1 record this season. The team's next match will be on Wednesday at 3 p.m. as they host the University of Oregon, who is currently ranked 27th. 
Well, men's rowing competed in the San Diego Crew Classic this past weekend, where the A-boat was able to beat San Diego State, Long Beach State, and LMU. Congratulations to the JV boat that was able to place third in the petite final, and the team's next race will be at Stanford in two weeks. Women's tennis wasn't able to pick up the win against number 58 BYU this past weekend as they fell in a tight match 4-3. They'll now head into this weekend 2-3 in conference play as they play University of Portland and then Gonzaga, which will be their senior day. Well, the women's and men's golf teams closed out their regular season play this past weekend at the Wyoming Cowboy and Cowgirl Classic. Good luck to the team as they now prepare for the WCC Championships next Monday and Tuesday in Maricopa, Arizona. Congratulations to the softball team as they were able to pick up their first conference win against the University of Pacific 2-0. And good luck to the team as they now head out to Utah to face Utah Valley and BYU. Well, women's soccer opened their spring season this past Sunday against the Sacramento Storm, where the game ended in a tie. Make your way out to Buckshaw this Thursday at 7 as the team hosts Cal in their second spring matchup. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos! Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. For all you Bronco fans, don't forget this Wednesday is Springsgiving, where we give all our SCU students a chance to come out and thank all of our generous donors. There's going to be a huge card outside the library this Wednesday at noon, so make your way out, write a little something for all the donors that give back to our programs, and we'll see you there. You do look tan. You're yes! on the side. Yes! Okay. They continue their <laughs> WCC play. And to me, yeah. it sounds like they were here. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sarah Jackson here with Quentin Perry on the baseball team. So Q, while I was fortunate enough to go to Mexico for spring break, where were you able to go? It was, it was, it was a real, real good game. What Went are you doing with your hands, Q? We're going down to San Diego. I don't know if you hear me, but we're in San Diego. Play Stockton. I don't really know what to do. I'm really nervous. I don't know what to do with my hands. Should I take, yeah, I'll take that off. We play San Diego. It was fun. It was a good time. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bronco fans. I'm Nikki Gilday here with Women's Water Water. <laughs> okay. And um, LMU, obviously. Okay, we should start over. I keep looking at that camera. Sorry. <laughs> and I start rambling. <laughs> I was like, stop looking at the camera. Stop looking at the camera. Women's tennis wasn't able to pick up this, pick up this, pick up this, pick up this, pick up this. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos. That was an awkward high five. I got it here. <laughs> <laughs>